How nice! We're gonna learn to this 1B writing! An informal letter! And now, please welcome y'all for the Lord and Lady Welcome to Fortnite, Mr. Fosa! All right, so happy to see you guys back to our next episode of the Lord English. What for say? Oh my God, it's been a long time we haven't seen you guys, and now tonight we're back with how the whole brand new lesson. It is the unit one G writing. It is an informal letter. Uh, before we start the show, I want to ask you a question: Did you watch the code open? I hope you said yes because I was talking about Mr. Alexis Joanne. Uh, he's he is Alex Joe's brother, and um, I cannot explain what 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 the content was it was inside it. But if you want to know, please watch it. If you watch it already, let's watch our lesson, and then if you have time. Watch it again and watch this lesson. Oh my God! So much things to watch. And now tonight it is the brand new lesson. Lesson it is the unit one G writing. We talk about an informal letter. Let's open your books into page number eleven. Page eleven. If you have, don't have your book, you can look at your screen. But next time, please buy the book because it is. Really important thing. There is a lot of thing you need to take notes in the in it. Okay, remember. Okay, so let's start with the exercise number two. Okay, we don't need to do the exercise number one, cause no need, no not 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 really for for needed. Okay, so uh, exercise number two. Read the letters quickly, then answer those two questions. Number one. Why are Johanna and Pablo? Who are? Who are Johanna and Pablo writing to? Number two, are they right? Ah, why are they writing? Choose the two of the reasons below. Let's read the lad. First letter. It is from Johanna. Okay, dear Mary, I am Johanna Pole Polevora Rova. I am 17 years old and I am from Ostrava. My dad is a shop manager and my mom is a nurse. I've got two brothers. They are called Jan and Robert. I like reading and watching the films. I also spending time with my friends. We often go shopping together and to or to a cafe or the cinema. I go to gym mat gymnasium park gymnasium pizek. There are five hundred students in the school and twenty five in my class. I am studying for my maturia maturita exam. I study five subjects. What time does your plane arrive in Ostrava? Please let me know. See you soon. Regards, Johanna's son. So let's read the second letter. is from Pablo. Hi, Luke. My name is Pablo Perez, and I am 17 years old. I live in a village quite close to Mendoza with my mom, dad, and my older sister. I've got loads of hobbies and interests. I love football, playing, and watching for both. And I go swimming a lot. I am into computer games and I like listening to music. My favorite band is the Black Eyed Peas. I go to the in instituto <laughs> instituto para paraquio Don Francisco de Mario. I am studying for my exams, including English, of course. My best subject is maths, and my worst is probably history. There are twenty-two students in my class. 
10 girls and 12 boys. Drop me a line and let me know what time your, your plane gets in. We can pick you up from the airport. I'm really looking forward to meeting you. Best wishes, Pablo. Okay, so that was the two letters. So first one, let's answer the first question. Who are Johanna and Pablo writing to? First one, Johanna, it is the first letter. She was writing to Mary. What did I know? Take a look. Dear Mary. So that, that she wrote to Mary. Okay. And so does Pablo. Pablo, you, you can see the first line, it is hi Luke. So he was writing to Luke, okay? For the second question, why are they writing? Why are they writing? Choose the two of the reasons below. First one, to ask for the information. Did they ask for the information? Probably no. They don't ask for the information because they are introducing themselves. To ask for the news? No. To give the news? Mm, yes, maybe. Maybe to give the news. No. No, not give it the news. To ask for the information? Yes. Sorry. Yes. He, they are asking for the information like what time like in the first letter from jo, uh, from Johanna writing to Mary. She wants to know what time does Mary's plane arrive in Ostrava? That is asking asking for an Im information. Also, there are a lot of more questions, but also in the second letter of Pablo's, uh, he also asks Luke to let him know what time what time does his plane get in? Okay. His plane here is Luke from the airport, so that they so that he can pick Luke. He can pick Luke from the airport. Okay, so ask for the information and also introduce themselves. The second, the the, the the two of the reason they wrote they wrote the letter, but this letter isn't it isn't formal. It is informal. So what it is informal? If you want the, if you watch the Learn English with we'll say season one, you have learned this lesson. Informal means you write the letter. Uh, informal letter means you write a letter to your close friend or maybe your family member with the very very um very informal way. Like you can you can write with the colloquial words. You can write. You can write short forms, contracted forms. You can write uh, uh, really short forms like that, something like that. And not the same as the job application. Job application is a kind of the formal letter. So informal and formal are different from each other. So we have did we have done the sorry we have done the exercise number two. So let's answer again. Answer again. So first one. First one. Uh, who are Johanna writing and Pablo writing to? Johanna was was writing to Mary. And who else? And the uh, Pablo. Was writing to Luke. The second one. Why are they why are they writing? They are writing to ask for the information and to introduce themselves. Okay, so that is the reason why they wrote and who are they writing to. Okay, so we'll be right back with the next part of the learning list. We'll say we'll do the exercise number four on the page number eleven. Don't don't go anywhere, please.